DaVinci Resolve is a video editing program that has a free version that allows you to edit videos and I've often seen people ask, where is the feature to create arrows? Well, there is no such feature, but in this video I will show you how to do it in the edit page without having to use Fusion. I can show you how to do it in Fusion in a later video if you like. Watch to the end of the video for some bonus tips. So we're starting off in the edit page with a video clip in the timeline. We'll drag a text node plus above the clip. In the video inspector, we type the letter G and change the font to Windings 3. And there you have it, a few clicks and we have an arrow. Changing the colour is simple, let's make it yellow to stand out. and change to the Layout tab to change the position on screen. The easiest way to change the size larger than 1 is to enter a number greater than 1 and then drag to change the size. We can expand the Rotation Layout section to adjust the direction the arrow is pointing. I'll show you an easier way to move the arrow later in the video. Let's add a new text plus node to give the arrow some meaning. And we'll make it yellow to match the arrow. And it's pronounced Kookaburra. Let's move it above the arrow. and move and size the arrow a bit more to match. Nice, that looks good. Let's make the arrow stand out a bit more. Under shading we select element 2 and click the enabled checkbox. And let's change the colour to black. That looks nicer. Let's add dynamic zoom to give a subtle movement effect. Well that was unexpected. The text did not move with the picture. Let's fix that. Search for an adjustment in the effects window and drag it above all the clips in the timeline. Applying dynamic zoom to the adjustment clip will apply the same settings to all clips below it. That's better, now everything is moving in unison. You're not just limited to arrows, you can choose any shape you like. I'll now show you an easier way to pick the shape to add if you're on windows and move it around. We will add a fresh clip and a text plus node above it. Let's change the font of the text to Sago Fluent Icons. And open up Windows Character Map application and choose the same font. and then select and drag the shape into the text panel. Then remove the default text. And change the colour of the text. Now just below the viewer we select the fusion overlay for the text. And now we see a draggable handle on the text which we can drag to move it around. Isn't that more natural?
That font is not the only one that has lots of shapes. Check out these ones too. Cheerio.